Hello, little scientists. Are you ready for a fun game with something soft and floaty? Say hello to the feather. Look at this feather. It's light, soft, and full of tiny lines. Do you think it can fly? Hmm, not by itself. But what if we help it? The big question faced with Monocle, have you ever wondered what happens when we blow air from our mouths? What can that air do? Let's find out with our feather. Wow, did you see that? The feather moved. Why? Because of the air you blew. What is air? Wind faced thought balloon. You can't see air, but it's all around us. We breathe it. We feel it when the wind blows. And today you used it to move something. Let's test it again. Try blowing gently. Now a bit harder. What do you notice? Does it go faster when you blow harder? Let's play a race. Put two feathers on the table. You and your friend blow your feathers across the table, whose feather goes farther. Now, let's try blowing the feather on a rough mat and then on a smooth table. Which one lets it move faster? Air has power flex biceps, see? Even though air is invisible, it can push things. That's called motion. Air makes the feather move. Let's make it fly. Dove, hold your feather in the air. Blow upwards. Can you make it float like a bird in the sky? Try again and again. Try different tools magnifying glass tilted left. Now let's blow using a straw. Can you control the feather better? Try short puffs, then long ones. What happens? Let's color our feathers. Add some sparkle. Every feather scientist needs a magical feather to experiment with. Let's think big. Air moves clouds, flies kites, spins windmills, and even powers big fans. Just like your feather. What else do you think air can move? Paper? Leaves? Balloons? Try blowing on different things at home. Let's draw what we saw today. A feather flying, the wind blowing, and your happy scientist face. You discovered something amazing. The science superstars party popper, you did it. You used air to make motion. You are now feather scientists. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and remember, science is all around you, even in the air you breathe.